man who sparked a worldwide movement is not forgotten. And CBS 2's Rachel Kim is live at the rally that is just getting underway. Rachel. Well, Pat, one of the organizers of this rally just told me that this is a collaboration of several groups from all across the Southland. You can see right now, uh, maybe about a dozen or so people have gathered so far. They say they are waiting for more people to show up. They say once everybody gets here, they plan to listen to speakers here at the intersection of Vine and Sunset. Then they say they plan to actually march through the streets and take over the streets. That's what the organizer is telling me. But for now, you can see that they are just starting to gather. Now, this this is one of a number of remembrances for George Floyd today. Let's take a look at some video. This morning in Lamert Park, civil rights leaders, clergy and community members prayed and took a knee for nine minutes and 29 seconds in memory of George Floyd on the first anniversary of his death. Local clergy said it has caused communities everywhere to take a closer look at what's going on closer to home. They said the number of African-American men being shot and killed in South L.A. is alarming. Earlier in the day in downtown L.A., activists were energized by the solidarity, but also solemn as they remembered Floyd and the other black lives lost in the last year. Activists say they've already made real progress in L.A., helping pass Measure J to direct more funds to address racial injustice and getting LAUSD to reallocate some of their school police budget. But they're hopeful that real systematic changes will be made. We have all been called to take a closer look at our humanity and participation as a free society. We have all experienced the need to use this closer look and find the path to balance and healing and unity. Now today, the L.A. City Council approved plans for spending $56.6 million in funds that were diverted away from the police department's budget last year. The goal is to spend that money investing in programs to benefit communities of color and provide alternatives to traditional policing. Now back live here again, again, a group of protesters expected to gather in large numbers later tonight. They're just starting to gather now. One of the organizers saying, again, they will listen to speakers here, then march on the streets and what they say, take over the streets later tonight. But for now, live in Hollywood, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.